Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous videos, we learned that how we can add the events, so update the event and uh, prevent it from the creating multiple events. So now the time is to add uh, events color, right, on the different criteria. So let's go to the index method here, right? So let me go to the index, <laughs> not this one. I need to go to the controller and find the index method, right? So here we are having these parameters, we are returning them to the events, right? So now the time is to implement this event here. Here we need to pass a color property, right? So let me uh, check that uh, I want to assign some colors, right? So let me check that if the booking booking and booking title, we have a title, if the title equal equal test right i want to apply a color right so let me make this a color variable this color is uh, for now it's null right so let me make this so if the event title equal equal test then i want to assign this uh, color right so the color would be the uh, you can assign this uh, red oops uh, let me make this uh, uh, red right so here you want to make this a red color so you can uh, get the red uh, code html color codes okay this is a very cool website so you can uh, create your own color from this website okay so i will add the link in the description so let me grab the color i want to make this a uh, purple so hopefully you like this uh, color uh, not this one it's this one close this one and uh, here so i want to make this uh, uh, rgb value so this color and now i want to pass this here it's a color and uh, this color would be this so it will uh, pass this value here so this uh, full js calendar accept this color entry uh, color attribute uh, in this uh, for creating this uh, creating these uh, events color right so if i give it refresh so we have this uh, test uh, and uh, yes this test so this color will be changed so give it a refresh and check that and their color are not changed so let me check that what oh uh, yes our property is good so let me check that is there any uh, title having this color so make this so return okay color so checking that is there any event having color and yes it's there why it's not applying this so let me save this one okay and we have this color and this color is uh, going back here so in there where we are assigning this color so it should be uh, why it's not applying <laughs> weird stuff and yes the color is applied i don't know no, i don't know why it's not applying for the first time so it's good so now the color is applied right so if i want to also apply on this test one so you can also add multiple condition here right so let me make this so here another if statement and uh, let me copy this uh, stuff and uh, paste it here and uh, change the code to this uh, green right so when if the title equal test uh, one then this color will be applied on it so save this one and uh, give it a refresh on the calendar okay test one this test one this test one will be changed and yes this color is applied on these events so you can uh, also implement uh, using a switch here switch statement and then this will be a uh, very easier to handle uh, every colors right so hope you understood that how to change the events color so even you can when you are adding uh, like uh, here we are going to add a test so save this one 
so it's not going to add the color so if i give it a refresh so color will be applied on this so how we can apply the color on the runtime run bye bye